What's up everyone? Today, we are going to be talking about one of the most important things you must do before running Facebook ads. The most important thing you must do before running Facebook ads is to have an attractive and engaging Facebook page. Your Facebook page is the first point of contact for people. And if it looks unprofessional, not engaging or unattractive, those people are less likely to engage with your brand and are less likely to buy your products or services. And essentially your ads won't be as effective as they could be. So I will show you examples of Facebook pages that are less likely to convert from their ads. And then I will show you what an ideal Facebook page looks like that is more likely to convert with their ads. So here's a page that will clearly not convert. Now, most of you probably don't have a page starting from scratch, but this is just an extreme example of why running ads to this page will be less effective. So first off, this page has no profile picture cover photo, description, or any post. And if I were a customer that checked out this page, I would be confused and skeptical because this page does not look credible, which will make me less inclined to buy from this brand. So overall, a bad Facebook page that lacks the basic elements will make it more difficult for potential customers to trust your brand and will not help your ads perform as well as they could. So this is just a very basic example and now I'll be showing you another Facebook page that is less likely to convert potential customers into sales. So here's another example of a Facebook page that is less likely to convert potential customers into sales. Now, this person actually came to us and told me that she has been a realtor for two years, but was still not able to land one client. And, you know, after talking to her, I could tell she was very knowledgeable and intelligent, but she had one major problem, which was she didn't have an engaging or credible page. Now, before running ads for our clients, we always audit their social media profiles to ensure that we can run effective ads to maximize results. But after going through her profile, we told her that it was not a smart idea to run Facebook ads, and here's why. Going through her feed, we noticed she posted a lot of irrelevant content that was not engaging to her customers. And if I'm a customer looking for a realtor, I would wanna see educational content listings, virtual tours, behind the scenes or testimonials, you know, some sort of value or content that would position myself as an expert to build trust and credibility. And although she was very knowledgeable in her field, her post did not reflect that. And if I was a customer going through her feed, I would be less likely to buy. So we had told her that we had no problem bringing clients to her page and whatnot, but at the end of the day, it's the customer's decision on whether or not they want to move forward with you. And that decision comes down to looking at your page. You know, are you credible? Are you creating engaging content? Are you seen as an expert in your field? And if you don't have any of those, the customer is less likely to buy from you. So next, I will show you a Facebook page that is ideal when it comes to running ads. Now, here is an example of an ideal page. So here's another realtor, and as you can see, she has a visually appealing cover photo displaying her accolades, which can create a strong first impression, making her seen as someone who is credible and someone that you can trust. Now, obviously, you need more than that. You need high quality content, and as you can see, she's posting relevant content her audience wants to see, um, you know, some testimonials, uh, very high quality content, uh, you know, engaging posts. She's asking her followers questions, which the customers can engage in and, you know, is posting frequently to keep her followers interested and invested in her brand. And again, having an engaging and credible page makes your ads more effective as customers are more likely to engage with ads from a brand they already know and trust. So overall, Creating and maintaining a good Facebook page requires consistent effort and attention to detail. By focusing on visual appeal, clear messaging, engaging content, and regular interaction with followers, you can establish your brand on Facebook and maximize results when it comes to running ads. So here is another ideal Facebook page. Ecosplash is actually one of our current clients and this brand was starting from scratch, meaning they had no products, no social media or even a website. So we had told the owner that if you want to maximize growth in sales, you first need to build a strong brand online 
And you do that by creating engaging and attractive posts first. So when it comes time to run ads, it will be a lot easier to sell your product. So here's Ecosplash's current page. Um, you know, it has an attractive cover page and profile picture clearly showing what this brand is all about. And going through the feed, it has visually appealing posts, content that is uploaded frequently, you know, benefits of using this product and educational content regarding the brand, which again will only create credibility and trust with potential customers. And within a month, we were able to get Equal Splash these amazing results. And the main point is before you run Facebook ads, you must have an attractive page that your ideal customer would want to see. So as I mentioned earlier, your Facebook page is usually the first point of contact for potential customers. When people click on your page, they want to see what you're all about, what your brand's all about. They want to see if you're credible. They want to see if you're trustworthy and they want to see what you have to offer. And if your page looks unprofessional, outdated, not engaging or attractive, your potential customer will quickly lose interest and move on to a competitor's page. Now, on the other hand, a user-friendly and well-designed Facebook page can help you establish credibility, trust, and increase the effectiveness of your ads. So that is the most important thing you must do before running Facebook ads. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please like this video. By doing so, it helps push this video out to businesses and people that are looking to run Facebook ads. And please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.